many books, I can't carry them. Not really, guys. Hey, y'all. Hey, guys, it's Natasha, and um, I have another book haul. I think my last book haul was maybe like five, six videos ago. Whoops. This is a paperback book haul. That's what I'm calling it because they're all paperbacks. A couple of these books that I have are either sent from authors, publishers, or from friends. I actually bought a couple. Like I actually literally bought books on Amazon. Like I didn't buy them on thrift books. I bought books that I really, really, really wanted through Amazon, which I don't ever do. I don't really reward myself that way unless it's like a sequel to a book that I really want. I am pumped to share these books with you guys today because some of them are really fun. And yes, I'm wearing a unicorn sweatshirt. Onto the books. Well, the first book was sent to me by a Hyperion for a book explosion book of the month for July, and that is The Warrior by Cinda Chima, Cinda Williams Chima. Yay! I actually have not read this yet. This will be shelved for a little bit until I get to it. I know we follow a teenage male protagonist, so that's fun. There's the sword here that is just, you know, fun to play with. I'm stubbing myself up. So there's that. The next book I have was sent to me by the author, and that is Famous in Love by Rebecca Searle. This is an arc. When does this puppy come out? Oh, this comes out on October 2014. When I heard about this book, I knew that this would just be one of those like guilty pleasure books. Just one of those books that you read after like an intense series. It's just a good morning period book. It's basically for fangirls. I'm just ready to read this book and go like, Yee! this girl is like plucked out of nowhere, gets to star in one of her favorite book to movie adaptations, and there are two male leads who she's like crushing on, and it's just, it just sounds so much fun, and I can't wait to read it, like especially just when I'm in one of those moods where I just want complete fluff. Famous in Love by Rebecca Seal. It comes out in October and I can't wait to read this and talk about it with everybody because it just, it just sounds so much fun and such a girly book. These next two books I'm going to show you are some of like my most highly anticipated books. I, you can't get your hands on these. These books are so hard to find. So I was so happy to be contacted by the author himself, J.D. Neto, the author of The Whispers of the Fallen and Rebellion. J.D. Neto is helping to sponsor this video. So thank you so much, J.D. I really, really, really am so excited to get through these both. And I will be having a giveaway at the end of the month of August. So make sure to look out for that on my channel or on my Twitter, one of those is gonna happen. My friend Sasha raved about these books and she loves them so much and I think it's so funny, I have a bookmark. And oh, I just lost my page. But there's Sasha, look, isn't that so cool? A booktuber is on swag, look at that. I'm so happy for you, Sasha, and I'm so, I've been using it. I'm gonna give this away with one of the books. Sasha, I'm using you to fan me while my dog goes and barks. I'm a little ways into the Whispers of the Fallen, but like this cover is so cool. There's like smoke and it's like the velvety cover. If you didn't know, I'm slowly making my way through the Harry Potter series for the first time. The first time I've ever, ever read the Harry Potter series. I've taken a break from um, Gobble to Fire because I just finished Prisoner of Azkaban to read this puppy. And I'm just in, I'm in the correct mood to read this because this is an adventure story. This greatly reminds me of Lord of the Rings and I love Lord of the Rings. I have never read the books, but I love the movies and I think after I read Harry Potter, I'm gonna try to read Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna try. I've been introduced to all the new books I need to catch up on, okay? And this one is making me wanna read Lord of the Rings. It's about these young men who are on a journey to protect Lucifer's diary. They're not on Lucifer's side, okay? They're trying to protect it from the fallen, the fallen stars, like fallen angels. It's very biblically based, but with a twist. So it's like, you know, Frodo and Sam going to cast the ring into the fire of Mordor. That's what I feel like when I'm reading this. And there are Nephilim, Nephilim with an N at the end, like Nephilim from, from the Mortal Instruments, kind of, because they are part fallen stars and part humans. In the Bible, if you didn't know, in Genesis, there are such things as Nephilim, but they were creatures that um, were banished from the earth that uh, the Lord did not want on this earth if you did not know that. This next book, I would just like to thank Jenna Claire for sending it to me. And it is slammed by Colleen Hoover. Jenna Claire, Cleric, 
She has a YouTube. She's a booktuber. She makes a lovely songs. If you guys have watched some of my, you know, adventure stories, I have put some of her songs into my videos. And she sent me Slammed by Colleen Hoover because she loves Colleen Hoover. And I don't own any Colleen Hoover. And I'm very excited to read this because Christine loved it. And I know I will love it. I just think contemporaries are so much better in paperbacks. I love hardbacks, but I think I do prefer paperbacks most of the time. Plus they're cheaper. My next three books I bought off of Amazon. This was a treat for myself. And it is my life with the Walter Boys. In my favorite contemporaries video, I suggested that people should read Megan's Mead Guide and the Young Boys. And it's about this girl who lives in a household full of like six, seven, eight boys. And one of my viewers commented that I would really probably like my life with the Walter Boys because it's one girl, 12 boys, one roof. Um, yes. I'm not sure when I will read it, but I think I'm going on a beach vacation in like two weeks with my entire family, so I think I'm gonna bring it along and have one of my cousins read it and see if she likes it, and then I'll probably like pick it up. But Harry Potter needs to be read first, and then I'm gonna read The Bloodlines. This book, I've wanted to read this for a long time, and it is Half Blood by Jennifer L. Armand Trout. Trout? Is it Jennifer L. Armand Trout or Trot? I always say Armand Trot. It sounds better than Trout. Someone tell me. I greatly enjoyed the Lux series. I actually haven't finished it. I stopped at the third one because I have I read them on ebook and it's just kind of hard to pick it up and I need to buy the new bind up. Money guys, money. I really wanted to read Half Blood because I've heard it's a lot like Vampire Academy and obviously there's a trend. I like reading books that are like the same concept. This is a lot like Vampire Academy but with like gods so there's like people who guard the other people. <sighs> I don't know why I'm gonna read it. I just My TBR is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this book I have, this book, I finally own it after, you know, like the entire year of people, everyone talking about this, you know, it started from Peru's project, Reagan over there, and um, it has just spread like wildfire and I finally bought it. Go to glass. Sarah I bought the paperback because of the cover. Booktube has blown this book up. If this is an example of how Booktube has influenced the book reading and publishing world, look at this one and look at The Darkest Minds. I am ready to jump on the bandwagon with this. So this is gonna go on my TV guard. This is gonna go higher on the pile. I will read this soon. Thank you everyone for watching and supporting me. If you guys would like to purchase these books, I will have them linked down below with my book depository affiliate link. I hope to see you all in the future. And if you guys are going on a vacation in August, tell me what books you guys are gonna bring because I'm obviously gonna bring Harry Potter. I also bring a lot more books for my cousins because they all like to read that week too. Hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. So keep calm and fangirl on everybody. Bye guys. I got to experience Comic-Con for realsies this time. Not being the poodle that I want it to be. Poodle up, hair. Damn it! It's about these young men who are on a journey to save Lucifer. No, 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 no. This mess? What was that? Shadow. It's not gonna work. Whoops. Oh, okay. shall fade. The light the same. No, that's the light. Fish. <laughs> it's gonna go out. It's gonna it's going out. Oh, now my room smells like smoke. Don't blow it, this makes it hotter. <laughs> Look for it. what's it called? No, oh, he looks like it. Okay, now that go stick it underneath the sink. You need to cauterize your wound. No! <laughs>